What is up guys, it's your boy Luth here, and today we have this really interesting team um, uh, that my friend passed me, and we're going to be trying to start a series called um, Video to the Top, and basically it's centered around using what most people consider an Unmon, and taking that as far up the ladder as possible. My goal is to hit top 10 on the LC ladder, um, which right now is at 1573, but we'll see how, uh, how far we can get up there. Um, really interesting thing is that we're actually doing the doing um, the series while um, some sort of core core ladder challenge challenge is going on um, that's started by someone in the LC community and you see see these like uh, CCE profiles um, those are people that are trying to do the ladder challenge which are um, using a certain core and see how far they get up the ladder but um, yeah we're gonna try to use um, this Teddy Ursa Team that my uh, friend passed me. Uh, just going over the team quickly. It's a standard quick feet Teddy Ursa um, with coverage for ghost and rock types. Um, what actually happens with quick feet is that um, it boosts its um, speed by 1.5, and that hits 21, which allows it to speed uh, outspeed the entire meta outside of Scarfers. Um, and then we have a God's Talo, standard God's Talo, Bear Deuce Onyx. And then um, offensive Ponyer, which is able to check things like um, Shelter. And then we have Krogunk, a mixed Krogunk actually, which is able to deal with things like uh, Snivy. And then a standard Bear Use Corefish Dragon End set. So um, I've actually tested this team uh, a little bit. Made up like I played a couple of games with some friends, and it's like it's not bad. But um, the problem is while using weird um uns like not standard teams on low ladder um, you get this you, you can't play like the way you normally want to because you always have people that use really st like stupid mons that make no sense at all and sometimes that actually ends up being in their favor because you don't know how to play around it um but like i, I guess that just like goes with everything you play so uh we're gonna start off the first game playing again like the, like every single mod here is just like unused like no one uses it at all like other than Talo and then maybe like Axio I guess but like other than that no one uses any of these mods like I didn't even know that Berg might like was a thing um but uh he's really really weak to rocks um so I think we just might lead Onyx and try to get those up at least Sentry um I think it's just best off if we get the rocks up because I don't, I don't, I don't see what to lose by getting him up because he doesn't have anywhere to deal with them. He actually has Aqua Tail. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to Krogunk, I guess, because he has no way of really dealing with it. Um, and then I can preserve my sturdy, um, in case if I really need it for something. Um, so now his options are really limited. Um, you would never go to Morlul. Oh, he just forfeits. Well, uh, <laughs> that works, I guess. So, <laughs> I guess we're just gonna load up another one. Um, but, okay, so we got another one immediately. Okay, so this is actually a really good looking team. It's something you'd actually see um, in a lot of like things like Snake Draft um, or other Big Ten tournaments. Um, Teddy Ursa has. It's really hard for Teddy Ursa because. It can it can do a lot to Mianfu, it can do a lot to like Pharisee. Um, but it has times uh, like this team in general is has um, struggles with um, fighting spam and he has three fighting type users. And so Krogunk is gonna have a lot of burden on it, so I need to use it wisely. Um, let's see. So I have to get rid of Onyx as soon as possible so I can start spamming rare birds with my Talo. So, I don't think Teddy Ursa is going to get a lot of actual stuff done in this game. Um, hmm. I think I'm just going to lead Onyx. And, I mean, I don't, I don't have a good lead in general. So, I'm just going to lead Onyx and try to get up rocks and break a potential sturdy on the um, Berry Juice Onyx. So, let's go with that. As he goes to his own. So, um... 
I'm gonna Rock Blast first because there's no reason for me not to. If he's Berry Juice, then Rock Blast is not gonna activate the Berry Juice, so I can Oko it or I can kill it off with Earthquake the next turn. Um, and if he's weak armor, Earthquake would not kill either way. So Rock Blast is definitely my best play. So he reveals a weak armor. Um, I think I'm just gonna go for the Earthquake here. If he opts to get up rocks, um, that's fine by me. I he loses his only um, blindside resist, and that just gives Halo an easier way to easier way to win. Um, hmm. Okay, so he just gives me Onyx. That's 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 fine because um, even if I don't get ro rocks, because like ro rocks don't really do that much in this game, um, because there's Mianfu with Regenerator, and there's um, Timber that just gets him. Ma okay. So he goes to Krogunk. Um, yeah, I have no ways of dealing with this. Sorry about that. Um, so I'm just gonna go with Earthquake. Um, now uh, my best way to revenge kill this. Mm. I think it's my own Krogunk. It's the best way to revenge kill it. No. I want to keep this healthy. Hmm. All right. I guess I have to. I have to go for it. So I'm just gonna go for a brave bird. Um. Yeah, that, that's definitely my best play. Uh, Crazy guys doesn't have a switch, and unless it's buried his Pharisee, which could be kind of annoying, because I don't have the best ways to like switch into it. Because if, if he like thunder waves on a switch in. Yeah, he's- yeah. Hmm. I don't want him getting up rocks, but I don't have an option. Alright, I feel Krogunk. Yeah. Hopefully, he doesn't, um, underwave, because that could get annoying. Um, another problem is a Slowpoke, because if, if I go in with Krogunk, I can just knock and keep on Drain Punching Spam. Oh, and he opts to go for Bulletin. That's fine. Um... At this point, like, not not because we're in the back, but since we're we're in a tough spot, I think we have to knock and hope that he goes slowpoke. Because I would I would keep my fair seat because it creates a lot of chip for the tailo. Yeah, so he goes slowpoke. Um, yeah. I, I, again, we we're in the back, so we have to start making plays. Um, you would never scald here. You probably would always go for psychic. So I'm gonna go to Ponyard. Um, and I don't think it's saying again, so I think I'm gonna pursue if he's gonna switch. Um, if, if I get a Slowpoke, get rid of Slowpoke, that's really, really good. Because Pharisee is no longer, like, able to- it, it can't take two Brave Birds anymore because it burned off its, um, uh, what's it called? It, it got rid of its, um, Berry Juice. Okay, so, he loses Slowpoke, and he don't- he doesn't have a good way to deal with Taylor anymore. Um, so, I think we have to go Krogunk. That's, yeah, we have to go Krogunk. That's fine, that's fine. The ice punches. Hmm. Alright, um, Timber is a really big issue. I, I, I don't have enough health to knock it off and then go for Green Punch to recover it. So I just have to go to Sludge Bomb here. Um, he goes for Mock Punch. Okay, so the good thing about this is that because um, he went for Ice Punch, he's probably the Iron Fist set. So that means he isn't boosted by Guts. So that's why I went for Sludge Bomb, because I knew that he wouldn't get the boost. Um, and here I'm just going to go to Vacuum Wave, so I can get some chip on him. And then I can go to Core Fish. And then I can just Aqua Jet. I just okay. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, actually no, that is not the play. I'm gonna go fish right now. Cause I, I I need this to stay somewhat healthy. So hmm, I I need this to be alive just for priority. I think it's good. Something that's not resisted by fighting. So I'm gonna go, go to core fish. I guess for drain punch. All right. I think I'm just gonna go for crab hammer. I mean, you're probably going to Krogunk, but, like, actually... 
if we double out to Talo, and we just claim a kill. No, I can't risk that. I have to go to knock out. Okay, he stays in. Straight, just, I don't think, hmm, I'm just gonna go for Crab Hammer, because I don't think that, um, Mach Punch kills at this range. Especially since he's not Gus Boosted. Actually, hmm. Alright, hold on. Let me cancel this. Alright. Yeah, it'll be close, I think. Oh, that sucks. Um. Hmm. I think we're gonna have to go off of third place now. I have to go to Teddy Ursa. Protect so I can get the facade boost next turn. Um uh, yeah, that's the best play. Let me calc how much a close combat does to Ferris Seed. Um you have Teddy Ursa. And a Pharaoh Seed. This is berry juice? No. Alright, that's the only set. Okay, assuming... Close combat almost kills. Alright, that's Oh, he's going for drain... Oops. He's going for drain punch, that's fine. Um, so if he goes for drain punch, then he should... Um, he's gonna... He should die. Because this is a... Oh, okay, that's fine. Um... Uh, okay. I really hope he goes into Ferris Seed right now, and then we get enough chip to the point- Okay, he did not. I'm gonna protect in case he goes for high jump kick, so that way, if, if he scarfed me in food, he does not. So I'm gonna go for facade. Hopefully he doesn't realize that he's slower now because of quick feet, um, because facade should do a lot. Okay, he's scarf. Hmm. I think I have to go for Drain Punch here. I need recovery. Um, even if he goes Krogunk. I mean, I, I think I lose at this point. Okay, and he just choked. And he just choked. He just gave me the recovery I need. That's fine. Um, so, um, I should be up to 60. And that should be able to take High Jump Kick from Mianfu. Um... And my Talo is also out of range of Krogon, um, vacuum wave, um, so that's good. I think I just have to sack Ponyard here. Hopefully he's not the nasty plot set, because if he's a nasty, nasty plot set, that's bad. Uh, hmm. Okay, he just goes for a Shadow Bolt. Uh, I just go for Iron Head here, because there's no reason- yeah, there's no reason for me to uh, not do that. Um, I just get as much chip as I can. But he's, he's probably just gonna vacuum wave, honestly. He does not. He's a nasty plot set, and I, I think he's poison EMZ, and sucker should kill at this range. Because I can't- yeah. <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah. Okay, if it doesn't, it's fine. It says quick attack. Yes, it does have quick attack. So, we can just go for the quick attack. Uh, if he goes out to Mianfu right here, that's a, that's a really good play, but, um, I doubt they do that at, I doubt he'd make that play this low in the ladder. Okay, so he goes for that. Um, now, yeah, at the, at this point, um, Program just wins. So, um, no matter what play you make, uh, I think, Brave, yeah, just go for, Brave, go for Brave Bird. Um, even if he goes for Drain Punch... I'm recovering more than he is doing to me. So it goes for knockoff. Yeah, and that's resisted. So um I can just let me just count. Um Krogunk. Press him set on a Mianfu. Scarf Mianfu. Knockoff is doing that much and I'm recovering more. Uh and is that... no, that does not kill necessarily. 
Yeah, I'll just go for Drain Punch. Because I thought he'd crit me. Yeah. Drain Punch into um, Sludge will kill. So, yeah, let's get him right there. Yeah, so... Teddy Rissa didn't put in as much work as we wanted him to, but he just did enough um, to the point where he just he got rid of the timber and he allowed for the rest of the team to go through and sweep. So yeah, that's a pretty interesting one. Although he actually choked the game away um, by going into Pharisee and giving me the uh, recovery I need on the Crow Gunk to win. So yeah, um, let's see. As soon as I get rid of Ponyard, I my blind types go through. Uh, as soon as I get a Timber, he has no ways to deal with Teddy Ursa outside of the Sucker from the Ponyard. Um, so if I can get rid of those two, I literally just sweep through the middle four right here. Um, he's probably lead Pineco with Sturdy, uh, sturdy Juice. Um, hmm. My best lead is probably Onyx. Yeah, my best lead is probably Onyx for the Sturdy Juice. Never mind. Uh, hmm. Yeah, and I don't have the best answers for fighting types. Um, I'm just gonna get out my rocks here. Um, that way I can break the Sturdy Juice on um, Pineco, and I can also get Chip on Mantike, which is annoying. So, uh, what does he do? He bulks up. Oh god. Alright, we have to go hard Krogunk. On his mock punch? That, that that was not the play, but okay. I'll take that. Um we're gonna sludge bomb. Yeah. Actually, oh I'm in I misplayed. I should I should have knocked first, but that's fine. Um we're gonna sludge bomb again. I think sludge bomb, if I get the poison, if I get the poison, sludge bomb should be able to knock it out after backing away. Yeah. Alright, so we got rid of the biggest threat to our team. Oh, never mind, I lied. Um, does this have protect? No, it does not. Oh, yeah, I'll just go into this, it's fine. Alright, I can just aqua jet this, um, and get rid of it. If he goes Fungus, that's fine. Um, hmm. If he goes Fungus, just Pinecle? Do I just win up like plus two? Like, what can you do to me other than explode? So, uh, uh, I can just dragon dance up here. He rapid spins. You're not gonna take. Your team does not take this well. Even if you go Mantike, I can just knock it off. Yeah, so that's gone. Um. Best answer is probably Fungus. But even that, um. He was Inke? Why? Does Inke even live? Let me check. Okay, Toy Scarf Inke, that's a thing. Alright, let's see. What am I calculating? Oh, Corefish. Um, Corefish, custom set, plus one. <laughs> yeah, that's. Oh, okay. Um, assuming a Violet, it even dies to a Violet, so I don't understand how Inke. What? That's really cool. I never thought of that, but interesting. I'm just gonna Aqua Jet just to get rid of this. Uh, wow, I never thought of that. But actually, yeah, Aqua Jet's better. Um, well, yeah, I don't want this taking damage anyway. Um, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's see. So, if- if- if he goes Fungus or Mantike, I'm fine, but he just gives me Inke. Um, he gives Mantike. Hmm. Alright, I think Honored is the best play, because I get to knock something off. Yeah. He goes for Air Slash. Alright, I can just get rid of Mantike, or Mantike to Violate, and then makes it okay, protects. Um, it's fine, I can just still spam knockoff. Even if he goes Fungus, I get a knockoff on Fungus, and then I get to fire off um, a, uh, an Iron Head. 
And it's Z Hydro? Hydro. It's Rain Dance. Huh. Does. Let me, ch let me calculate. Man type over Ponyard. Custom set. Again, how much does it do in rain? I'm gonna count in the rain. Hydro Pump does kill. Oh, but it's not Life Orb. So. Okay, so. If I were him. Sucker would kill. Sucker obviously kills, but I don't want him roosting. Or. I, I, I think my best place is still the Sucker. Yeah. Because, um. No matter what, he'd have to eventually go for his move to knock me out, or else he loses rain. Um, and if that's the case, since he has less rain turns than sucker punches, he can't stall out my sucker punches by winning 50 50s. So, um, what he has to do then is eventually go for it, and sucker punch does more than enough to the point where I can just kill it with a core fish, quick attack, or um, a protect and facade. So, um, I can just knock off Fungus because I don't really need Ponder to live anymore, so I can just knock that off. Leftovers. Okay. Um. Let's see. Hmm. I think. Tailo? No, I, I'll just burn off Sleep Trains. In worst case, he has HE Fighting. Um. And I, I, I'll deal with that fine, because, like, if he has HP fighting, I can just go into Talo. Um, unfortunately for my opponent, we got a crit um, on the Fungus. Um, I don't even know if it mattered. It might have been close, but I, I think I won this game regardless. Um, I'm going to knock this off in case of Sash, and then my Onyx can just clean up from there. Um, yeah, that's game. So, let's hit the timer. Um, yeah, so... Oh, what are we at right now? Yeah, we're at 1,082. Uh, I want to get up to about 50, uh, 150 by the end of this episode, but if, if not, that's fine. Um, I'm going to go hard into Onyx here. Actually, no, that's not the point. I go hard Teddy Ursa here. Yeah, that way if he swords dance up, if he swords danced up, I, I just be able to kill him um, with close combat, or if you sucker punch me, then I, I have Mr. Do, so I just want to speed things up a bit. Um, yeah, that's game. Cool. Load the next one up. So, I mean, the problem with this team is his fighting resist, but I can just go over that later. So, there, he's using um, a Bell Sprout, which I have not seen in a really long time, and that makes me think that this Ponyta is actually... Um, Z Sun, so Z Sunny Day, which gives it plus one speed, which actually could be an issue. Because seeing seeing that I don't have any any ways of dealing with Ponyta at plus one. Because this size is solar beam, this size is solar beam, this dies to definitely a fire type. Fire type. This probably dies because it's weak. This dies. Huh. So I gotta be careful about that. I gotta preserve this thing's 30 juice. Actually, I have Endure, so I'll, I'll be fine. Um, he also has no Flying Resist. He also loses to Teddy Ursa after Onyx is gone. Um, hmm. I think my best lead is my Corefish, actually. Because you never go Bellsprout here. Yeah, I'm gonna go, cor go Corefish. Alright. Knock off turn one. Um, get rid of this Oh, right. Heat Rock. That is- that's so cool. But, um... Hmm. So he's just... Uh, hmm. Yeah, just Aqua Jet it. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um... Don't agree with that play, but that's fine. Because if I knocked off again, it had issues. But hmm. I have to go hard onyx. Yeah, that's my play. Go hard onyx. Maybe if he goes for growth, um, I should be fine. 
this yeah, it goes, goes for solar beam. That's life orb. So the earthquake should be able to knock this out. I think earthquake actually claims a kill. Yeah. <laughs> earthquake is able to get rid of something. Goes for Giga Drain. Oh, he's Giga. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I had no option in this. Um, uh, I think I just have to go up for go into tail on quick, quick, quick attack. Oh man, I have not seen sun in such a long time, but it's actually so annoying to deal with. Not expecting it at all. Um. Okay, so if I'm able to get rid of the onyx, who's Abra? Are you Scarf? Alright, again, when you don't have like the things, like when you're in the back, in a sense, you always have to go for plays. I, I have to win the speed time, go for U turn. He might have been Scarf. Um, we're just gonna go at this and click Pursuit. If he was so confident that he was gonna win that speed tie, yeah, he was probably Scarf. Yeah, he was probably Scarf. It's fine. Uh. Okay. Um, if this is a sunny day, I think I just lose. Uh, um, I think I, I just have to go for knockoff first. Oh, he just get charcoal. I think I might have killed regardless, so, um, there's that. <laughs> um, let me see, actually, let me see. Uh, Ponyta Sunny Day. Let's give it charcoal. Yeah, no, I did not at all. So, but a knockoff and sucker would have killed, and I don't think he has any healing moves. Um, I don't even know how we're about to win this, but knockoff, obviously, trap inch. Um, Teddy Ursa would just win. Yeah. Teddy Ursa just wins. Alright, we're just gonna go for tech. Uh, I mean, if he goes for faint, that's whatever. I mean, he goes for superpower. Facade, facade this. Close combat this, facade this. And if it doesn't kill, I can just go for a vacuum wave. Yep. So this team has been working out pretty interestingly. Uh, how high was this kid? Yeah, okay, he wasn't that high at all, but, um, he brought a really interesting team that I haven't seen since SPL7, I want to say? That's when, um, OP played, um, yeah, and, like, back, back then, um, they spammed Sun like crazy because Vulpix was just a broken mod, um, but, uh, thank god they got rid of Vulpix, they made it to LC Ubers. Um, which basically kind of like ruined Sun because the only Sun users were like Ponytail left, and that, that kind of like made it really hard for others to deal with. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna go after Corefish and click knock off, and that should be able to kill. If it's Scarf, then I can just go to Crobo. Yep, and that's game. Oh wow, it's Choice Band. Well, um, that was really interesting. I played some cool teams, um, and we got to 132, which is fine. Um, I just want to get out of low ladder and into something where I can actually start playing, oops, um, start playing teams that I actually can, like, I understand, um, because they're, I, I playing in low ladder is kind of dangerous in the sense that you don't know what's being thrown at you, um, so, yeah, we got to, we got a little past low ladder, um, but I think we're going to continue on low ladder in the next episode, so, yeah, I think that's it, and see you guys soon, bye.